So in this video, I want to talk about scientific notation and how can we convert regular numbers to a scientific form or convert from scientific form to a regular number. So what is scientific notation or sometimes called exponential notation? Scientific notation is a way of representing large and small numbers as a product of two terms. So how can we represent them? So these two terms, the first term is called coefficient, is a term between 1 and 10. And the second term is the exponential term, is raised, is 10 raised to the power, which is called exponent. So here, as you see here, this is the scientific notation. We have 2.5 times 10 power 2, and here we have the coefficient, and we have coefficient multiplied by 10 power 2, and 2 here is the exponent. So these are just some examples about large and very large and very small numbers. For example, distance from Earth to the Sun, as you see here, is 1. 5, 0, 0, 0, we have 10 zeros, meter. As you see here, it's very difficult to uh, write this number and doesn't make sense. So it's better to convert it to a scientific form. So as you see here, we have 1.5 times 10 power 11 meter. So instead of writing all these zeros, we make it much more simpler. Another example, diameter of Earth. 13 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, or 13 million meter. So if you if we convert it to scientific form, we have 1.3 times 10 power 7 meter. Or height of Mount Everest, we have 10,000 meter. If we convert it to scientific form, we have 1 time 10 power 4 meter. Height of Empire State Building. 400 meter in scientific form 4 times 10 power 2 meter human height 1.7 meter or if we convert it to we don't need to do that but if you want to write it in a scientific form it can be 1.7 times 10 power 0 meter as you see as you know 10 power 0 is equal to 1 length of the Cockroach is 0 0.040 meter, or when we convert it to a notation, scientific notation, it's going to be 4.0 times 10 power minus 2. Size of a grain of sand, 0 0.00010 meter, converted to net in scientific form, it's going to be 1.0 times 10 power minus 4 meter. Size of a red blood cell, point, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 6, 5 meter. In scientific form, we have this one. Okay, as you see here, we can write any number in a scientific format. So how to convert them? There are two points to remember in converting a number into or out of a scientific notation. First, the value of a exponent is the number of places by which the decimal point is shifted. So based on the number of uh, decimal point that we are shifting, we can define the uh, value of exponent. It can be positive or it can be negative value. Two, the coefficient should have only one digit before the decimal point to the left of decimal point. And we can say for, an, for a number less than one, the exponent is negative number. And for any number greater than one, the exponent is a positive number. So let's have some examples. <clears throat> we have 10,000 and in scientific form, we have one times 10 power four because we have decimal point here so 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 1 times 10 power 4. 
or in this example we have one two three four five if you want to convert it to a scientific notation we have this small point here one two three four so the number in scientific form is going to be 1.2345 times 10 power 4. Next example, 1000, 1 times 10 power 3, or 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3. We have, we have moved the decimal point by 3 places. So the exponent is 3. And since this number is greater than 1, we have positive value. Or we can say when we move the decimal point to the left, the value of exponent is positive. When we move it to the right, it's going to be negative. So we have one next example. We have one, two, three. In scientific form, we have one, two. So it's going to be 1.23 times 10 power 2. Then we have 12. So we have 1.2 times 10 power 1. Here we have 0.12. We need to move the decimal point to the right. So we have one, one place. So 1.2 times 10 power minus 1. Here we have 0 0.012. So we moved it two times. 1.2 times 10 power minus 2. As you see here, because these numbers are less than 1, all the exponent values are negative and we are moving the decimal point to the right so point zero zero one two one two three so we have one point two times ten power minus three here in this example one two three four so we have one point two times ten power minus four so as you see here all these numbers which is the coefficient, it must be between 1 and 10. It cannot be less than 1. It cannot be greater than 10. Another thing we need to make sure that we need to always count the significant figures too. So here we have, for example, 5. We must have 5 here. 4. We must have four significant figures here. Three, three. Here we have, for example, two significant figures. We have two significant figures here. So these are some <coughs> prefixed values used in a size system. As you see here, some of them are very popular, like centi. When we use centimeter, we are dealing with 10 power minus 2. Or milli, 10 power minus 3. Micro, 10 power minus 6. Nano is 10 power minus 9. On the other hand, we have deca, which is 10 power, min 10 power 1. Heco, hecto, sorry, is 10 power 2. Kilo is 10 power 3. Mega is 10 power 6. Giga, 10 power 9. Terra, 10 power 12. Peta, 10 power 15. And Exa, 10 power 18. So as you see, some of them are very popular, some of them not. Or on the other hand, we have, for example, something very sm for very small number. We have Femto, which is 10 power minus 15. Let's have some examples. The sun is about 93 million miles from Earth. Express this number in scientific notation so here we have 93 million miles if you want to convert it to a scientific form we need to move the decimal point until the coefficient becomes a value between 1 and 10 so the decimal point is here we move it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we move the move the uh, decimal point by seven places. So the exponent must be seven. And since we are moving the decimal point to the left, the exponent value is positive. Or we can say since this number is greater than one, the exponent number is positive, as you see here. 
So here, since we moved it, we have 9.3. And 9.3 is between 1 and 10. So that this number is valid. So 9.3 times 10 power 7 my. And as you see here, we have two significant figures. And here we have two significant figures. Next example, a giant animal has a weight of 1.36 times 10 power 5 kg. We need to convert it to a normal form. So we have five zeros. So we have 1.36. So if we use two of them, it's going to be 136. And we need to put three zeros in front of it. Or we can move it by five places. So we have 136, 0, 0, 0. So as you see here, we have three significant figures and three significant figures as well. Convert the length of the virus <coughs> from 0 0.00000002 meter to a scientific notation. So we need to convert it to a scientific form. So that's the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we moved it by 8 places. So here we must have 2 times 10 power minus 8. We put minus because we moved the decimal point to the right. And this number is less than 1. And as you see here, we have only one significant figure. On the right hand side, we have one significant figure as well. Let's have another example. Convert the diameter of the protein molecule from 6.5 times 10 power minus 6 meter to a decimal number. So we have 6.5 times 10 power minus 6 meter. So we have, we need to have, we need to move the decimal point by 6 places. So we have 6.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the number in a normal form. So as you see here, we have two significant figures. And on the right hand side, we have two significant figures as well. 